companies in Silicon Valley are generating headlines this morning thanks to their newest employee benefit. Apple and Facebook are now offering up to $20,000 to women freezing their eggs. It could lead to more female employees and retaining female employees. And as NBC's Stephanie Goss reports, it could also be a game changer. Done at a young enough age, egg freezing can dramatically increase the chances of getting pregnant later in life. If you come in to get pregnant, let's say at 42, 43, and we have eggs frozen from when you're 35, it's like we're setting the clock back seven or eight years, so it can be a huge advantage. Fertility doctor Jamie Notman got an email from a patient today, which she says kind of sums up the mood around the office. Subject, OMG, just announced Facebook and Apple to cover egg freezing costs. So a thousand exclamation marks. Dr. Notman says the majority of patients who come in, and there are more and more each day, can't afford egg freezing. What Facebook did, what Apple has done, is, is going to be huge for women because it allows them the opportunity to do something that they may have never been able to do before. All right, joining us now, uh, editor for Bloomberg Business Week, Emma Rosenblum. In April, Emma wrote that cover story for the magazine, Freeze Your Eggs, Free Your Career, and this appears to be the next step in that story. Yep. What did you think when you, uh, when you heard this? Because I would take it as a reporter, you've looked at the upsides and downsides, but now these companies are seeing this is potentially a draw for women. Yeah, I, I actually wasn't surprised at all when I heard this. Um, I actually had heard during my reporting that there are rumblings. There are other companies that cover this mm -hmm. in the financial sector, in insurance, but they, they're just not coming out with it. They're being very private about it because of you know the controversy that it may cause. So what is the, what is the problem or the conundrum that these companies are addressing by putting out a policy like this? Well, the conundrum that they're addressing is by, by putting it out is that they might seem like they are some kind of Machiavellian control over their employees saying their female employees saying continue to work until you're dead and then maybe you can get pregnant afterwards if you've frozen your eggs so they don't want to seem like they're trying to control the lives of their female employees but I don't actually think that that's what they're doing. I think they're basically just providing another help option. It's interesting you said that because this is actually the first I'm hearing this story. And on the one hand, obviously, the, the tremendous upside. But it did hit that nerve with me as, as somebody who did was an employer, employed a lot of people. It was like, hey, don't go home and have a baby at 33. Stick around till 45. And, you know, there is a little Orwellian thing about it. Yeah, at least but it especially just in the tech sector, way. I mean, they're yeah. trying to also in attract female employees. Of course, yeah, so obviously that's one of the yeah, drugs. There's, there's well, that's the whole point. It's clearly, we want you and we want you to work longer, and obviously it's well-intentioned, but I did get that underbelly rub that it, you said could be the It country. is there, but it is literally, as, as you spoke to just now, a, a game changer in terms yeah. of career paths for women. Mm -hmm. You're 34, 35 years of age. You're working for a large financial institution or for Apple or Google or whatever, and you're confronted with the dilemma. You know, I want to have a family. I want to have a child, but your career path, right. boom. Yeah. But now... Right, and, and I mean, in the reporting that I did, also the women that I spoke to, it wasn't that they were putting it off just because they wanted to work till midnight. They were putting it off because they hadn't necessarily found the right partner at the right time. And a lot of that did have to do with the fact that they were working till so midnight. So there's societal trends being addressed.